Hey guys! So I'm back from college for the weekend. It's Columbus Day weekend and sorry we haven't been able to upload videos. I have to teach my mom how to use the video editing software sure. and how to use a camera and, <laughs> and function it and everything. So she's learning so hopefully we can have videos uploaded on this channel while I'm at college. But we wanted to make some recipes that are kind of corresponding to the season. So today we will be making polpettone di cavoli fiori. This is an Italian recipe which polpettone means meatloaf in Italian. And in Italy they make it with tonno, like tuna, and then they make it also with vegetables. We make it with potatoes and this particular one is with cauliflowers and um, I don't know if this recipe is available out there because it's my mom's uh, specialty and uh, she, she's very creative so she is a, a wonderful cook and um, I learned a lot from her and I'm going to do this now for my viewers. So hope you enjoy it. Keep watching! The ingredients for this recipe is a head of cauliflower. Normally this kind of big one will do. Then I have some Parmigiano cheese, some mozzarella cheese, and preferably anything that is very flavorful. And uh, in this case, I use pepper jack cheese because we we love it. You can use any other sharp cheese that you might prefer. It's, it's it's optional. The third one is optional. Then we need some butter. We need some egg white. We need some of this bouillon, chicken bouillon. I show you how and some garlic pepper seasoning and breadcrumb seasoning, some salt and we can get started. Okay, step one is cutting and cleaning the cauliflower and preparing a, a, a pan with some water and when it boils, while this is getting boiled, I prefer the veg I prepare the vegetables, which I'm going to show you. So you remove the stem. It's boiling right now, so I'm gonna be dropping all of the little florets into the boiling water. And they have to cook long enough to become nice and soft because in essence these are going to become like a puree, a potato puree in a, in, in a way. So you have, they have to be soft enough to smudge it with, with a fork or a spoon. And um, now while this cooks, I'm show, I will show you how to enhance the flavor. This is what I drop in there. And normally three quarters to one of the cubes will be enough for this amount of water. So I drop the chicken bouillon in here and I let it cook and I taste it for, I have a little bit of salt. Now keep in mind this is also salty so you don't have to overdo with salt. Then you're going to have also cheese and um, pepper jack cheese which also contains some salt. So you might want to go just a little bit low on salt for now and then you can taste it. It covered. Okay. It has been about 15 minutes so far. So I'm gonna try to taste it. It's nice and soft. They're ready. So I'm gonna drain them now. They're nice and soft. So you can basically smash it with a fork or with a potato. Smasher, which, whichever is easier for you. I have half a cup of the white eggs. The reason I choose white versus the whole egg is because it comes lighter and fluffier. So this is the best option for this recipe. Then I have about two quarters of a cup then I have about three quarters of a cup of Parmigiano cheese. I have about three three quarters of a cup also of mozzarella cheese. 
and we have garlic and pepper. Okay, now I have all the ingredients except for the pepper jack. I'm going to show you how you use that separately. And you, you give it a good stir. You have to fold in all the ingredients and mix it as if you are doing meatballs. You can mash, mash everything in. You always want to try something before you put something to cook. I normally try to taste this, but at this point I try to see how the seasoning is, is going. If it needs more cheese, if it needs a little bit more salt, right now it's perfect. to use any any oven baked pan that you have and you want to grease it. I have this oven one which is oven safe and everything. So you put some butter at the bottom. So the idea now is to fold this in and you just want to use half of it because it's two layers, we do two layers of this, and we put the cheese in between. This is the pepper jack cheese that I cut, and I layer as if it is lasagna. When you make lasagna, you just layer the cheese. Okay, now I take maybe a tablespoon, just eyeball it, and I spread a little bit of the breadcrumbs on top. A bit more of the parmigiano cheese that was still not all together that I had saved from before. Now we do the other layer. It's almost like lasagna. same amount of parmigiano that I had saved from before. This is not extra parmigiano cheese, it's still the same amount from the same three quarters of a cup that I had before. Put some parmigiano cheese evenly and then you put breadcrumb and this is going to become nice and golden and it's going to look just beautiful. Okay, we set the oven to bake at 400 degrees for about 35 minutes because everything is already cooked there they just have to blend well and, and mix well together so when it warms up I'm going to turn it to 400 or if you don't have a cover you can put a little bit of oil and you mix it again I said for about 35 minutes and 400 is preferably the right temperature the oven is off and I kept it in there a little longer. I gave it another 15 minutes uh, with the oven shut off so that it, it sets. It's very nice and golden. If you notice that it has not uh, somehow, because every oven is different, I will encourage to remove the lid for, a, for about five minutes during the last five minutes of of the cooking time, I will uncover the lid and I will keep it in um, and I will keep it in the oven without the lid. If you notice that it, it might not have became brown. Every oven is different, so you all. Okay. This is the consistency that you should feel when you cut into into the ingredients and you scoop it. Mm, See, it's nice and golden very very nutritious and delicious now again if you like you can also have some bread with it i prefer um, any hearty kind of bread if you like with some seeds you can go for um, rye bread or any crusty i put it in the, in the oven and i i made it nice and, and um, crunchy and you can put it, but it's a very nutritious and very inexpensive to make. And I hope you enjoyed this recipe. As always, buon appetito. And please check our blog, subscribe, and let us know your, your feedback.